Okay, I don't get these too often. This is a Sega Master System. Um, competition to the original NES. Um, the customer sent me this one because it doesn't power on. And he stated that the wrong AC adapter was hooked up to it and something went pop. And I found a good AC adapter and plugged it in and of course nothing happened. Just get flat black screen. So I started taking it apart. I've already got most of the shielding off. And what I found immediately was is I don't believe there is a fuse on the board. But what I found is if I look down in there at the voltage regulator, I think the voltage regulator itself blew apart. So if I take the heat sink off here, oh, how do you get to that? Well, they could have made that a little easier, huh? That is ridiculous. Almost. Okay. Yes. Here is our, what I assume was a 7805. And it is blowed out. Let me get a close up for you. Okay, you can clearly see what happened. I mean, this is, uh, that's what it's supposed to look like. Okay? And here you go. Very obvious. So let's replace it and see what happens. Was some heat sink material or some uh, thermal compound on the heat sink, but what I need to do is screw the new regulator onto the heat sink first. That way the height is correct when I solder the regulator in. As you can see, there's quite a bit of leg sticking up there. So I'll solder that down, cut off the excess.
Okay, I think we should be able to uh, plug it in and test a little bit more now. Okay, so power, RF, game, score. Easy fix.